Hello everyone, my name is Karen, welcome back to the channel. It is that time once again to do another Loot Crate unboxing and we have the October 2019 crate here, uh, the Deadish crate to unbox. Um, sadly, my August crate has still not shipped, so um, basically my plan is if by the end of the month, which is slowly, which is fastly approaching, um, I don't have that crate, I will email Loot Crate and say, hey, I haven't gotten this crate yet. Is there any, you know, can you guys send me any confirmation or anything like this? Like, am I going to get this crate still? Because I know you guys are still, like, kind of getting back on your feet at this point. But, like, if I'm not going to get this crate, can I at least get a refund? Because I did pay full price for that crate. So, um, yeah. But we have the October Deadish crate right here. Let's open it up. If my knife wants to go in. There we go. <clears throat> if I can get my knife all the way in the damn thing. Ooh. That's a very nice box. Vampire Hunter Kit. High stakes hunting. Garlic. Holy water. Uh, flashlight, it looks like. Oh yeah, Mega Sun 100,000 Lumen Flashlight. Uh, the Holy Bible and a steak. And it's got a, and it's a briefcase design looking thing. So, first thing I noticed with the shirt. The shirt is right on top. So we're gonna start with the shirt because I always enjoy the shirts. Um, they're one of my favorite, oh, I think I saw what it is. I'm not entirely sure, but it looked like a Deadpool shirt. Oh, come on, there we go. So we got, <laughs> we got a shirt that says dead. <laughs> Underneath is just scribbled pool. And he says, oh, hi, I didn't see you there. And it's, He's kind of around marking them. It's chalk. It's chalk outlines um, for the dead bites. I'm not gonna put this on because I only just put this shirt on. Um, I really don't want to have a shirt that I just put on that I enjoy wearing that I find really comfortable. I'm not gonna just dirty it, you know, with one wearing, um, with one quick wearing, I should say. All right. So next we have a Dracula pencil sharpening. <laughs> what the? F I gotta see what it looks like. I might actually keep this out. This might be. A I don't use standard pencils much anymore. I usually use like um, mechanical pencils. So I don't sharpen a whole lot of pencils, but who knows, this might be worth it to start using regular pencils again. Oh my God. So it comes with a little base plate. Let me grab this out real quick. And we'll put the, we'll put the uh, casing back into the box real quick. I opened it from the wrong end. Adult collectible, not a toy. So, so we can, so this is what it looks like. So it sharpens in his chest. So it's like you're stabbing a stake into his heart. And then the back of the coffin not only slides off, but also gives you a pencil, a tiny wooden pencil that looks like a steak. So I'm guessing the back is where the shavings go. I'm not gonna use this right now because I think it just looks cool. And then you can even put the front of the coffin on to cover him up. So basically, if you wanted it to, you don't even have to have this look like a pencil sharpener. You can literally just have it look like a casket and then it pops open. It's supposed to pop open. <laughs> it pops open, if I can get the fucking thing open. There we go. Pops open, reveals a sharpener, reveals him screaming for pain because he's got a stake going through his heart. Uh, I might actually have to use this because this is fucking cool as hell. Um, I'm gonna go put this on the wooden shelf I have over there and leave it there for now. Because right now, I don't have many uses for regular wooden pencils. So we're just gonna add that over there and leave it there for now. And not, I don't wanna touch that. I, I don't know, there's like an apron or something in here. I think that's the thing I want last. So I got two thanks for being a looter things, which is very funny to get when, you know, I, I'm not a looter anymore. <laughs> like, I love you, Loot Crate, but you guys really fucked up. Um, so we have a Lost Boys, sorry to brother you, fun fact. In the town of Santa Clara is, or Carla is real, isn't real. The movie was actually filmed in around, in around Santa Cruz, California. The town's iconic beach boardwalk right at the back drop for set scenes so this is um it looks like movie shots from the lost boys which is one of my favorite movies of all time it's 
definitely my favorite vampire movie of all time. So, I guess let's go through them because, yeah. There might be some cool shit in this. So, it says, sorry to brother you, and it shows this. And then on the back, it's got sleep all day, party all night, never grow old, never die. It's fun to be a vampire, the actual um, poster for the movie. Lost Boys, a serious case of garlic breath, which is, we got this shot from the movie, and on the back it has a fun fact. The pivotal bridge scene was filmed at the historic Iron Horse Trailhead Trestle Bridge in Santa Clarita, California, built in 1898. The bridge is no longer in use by trains, but now features a pedestrian walkway so fans of the movie can safely cross over it. Um, I've heard of this bridge, I want to go see it, like I'd love to go there to go see it, but yeah. Blood, it's what's for dinner, and we got Kiefer Sutherland's character, and then it's got the Santa Clara, uh, Santa Cruz fact on the back. These are really cool. I love, love, love The Lost Boys. It's one of my favorite movies of all time, and uh, yeah, that's really cool to get those. I love getting those like shots from the movie, from like movies and stuff like that. They're really cool. All right, so we got um, this small apron. Oh, it's a tote. Oh, that's cool. It's a Night of the Living Dead bag. Uh, like tote bag, like almost like something that you'd use as a reusable grocery bag. Um, I love it. I love Night of the Living Dead. It's an underrated movie for sure. Basically just because it's really old and a lot of people like give it shit for not looking like it doesn't hold up. It doesn't look as great as it used to. Like if you watched it back, like if you were born back then and you watched it, this movie, that movie was like the best looking movie of all time. But if you're like my age... And you watch that movie when you were a teenager, it doesn't look as great as it as it used to. Like it doesn't hold up. It's still a great movie. Don't get me wrong, Night of the Living Dead is like a fantastic movie. But yeah. And then finally onto the pin, we have a Nosferatu pin. Uh they been they went very, very vampire heavy to to this uh crate. Um Nosferatu is basically the father of vampire movies as far as I know of like what the legend is is Nosferatu was one of the very first vampire movies to be filmed and it's really really good if you've never seen Nosferatu um go see it I've I've personally never seen it and I really want to because I've heard it's really really good um but it is kind of one of the things that really set off monster movies like this and Frankenstein are like two of the classic classic monster movies and um, I've seen I've seen the original Frankenstein. I have not seen Nosferatu, and uh, I should really go see it because this, like, it's really good. Um, so give me a second to put the pin away to move the crate, and I will load up the uh, Loot Crate website to see what the to read through the booklet thing. Because again, they didn't give me a booklet this month. And I also just realized this is the third Deadpool shirt I've gotten. I'm pretty sure every single. So far, every single um, October crate I've gotten has come with a Deadpool shirt. I might be wrong on that, but for sure, I've gotten three Deadpool shirts this year, or in Loot Crate, which is pretty cool to me. I love Deadpool, so I mean, I'm not complaining. Um, and all three shirts are fantastic. Um, this is probably my favorite one, to be honest. I don't have, I'm not getting the chill, so why is it there? I didn't get squatted either, so I mean... <laughs> I don't know why those are there. I get the November or December crate. We actually will look through what we would have gotten had I decided to keep Loot Crate. Um, we'll see what November and December crates would have gotten us. Deadish. Vampires, zombies, talking skeletons. They're not quite dead. So are they semi-dead? Undead? Deadish? Yeah, that works. Unbox ghoulish gear from Deadpool, Night of the Living Dead, The Lost Boys, and more. So we're going to view the PDF. Go to page two. Loot Crate Original Deadpool T-Shirt. When your name is Deadpool and you're a mercenary, you're no stranger to a high body count. Chalk your body right in this Deadpool T. I really like the shirt. The shirt's probably my favorite part from this crate. Exclusive Night of the Living Dead tote bag. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Oh, you're not the Barbara? Well, they're coming anyway. They, being flesh eating zombies, load up this Night of the Living Dead tote bag with survival essentials and get somewhere safe. There's not many essentials you can load up in that besides food and water. Like, everything else you're going to need is going to need a bigger bag. Exclusive Dracula pencil sharpener. Your garlic breath didn't take down the va uh, vampire, but maybe a pencil through the heart would do the trick? Sure, it's no steak, but you're no Van Helsing. 
Exclusive Lost Boys trading cards. Living in Santa Carla is pretty great, except for all the damn vampires. Celebrate the 80s vampire classic with a retro set of the Lost Boys trading cards. Oh, they're trading cards. I wonder if that means that other people may have gotten different cards, or if everyone got the same three cards. Exclusive Nosferatu pin, released in Germany in 1922. Nosferatu was an unauthorized silent film adaptation of Dracula and a horror cinema classic. It is one of, like I said, the very first depictions of a vampire in history. It's a very good movie. And uh, there's apparently no Mega Crate, it seems. Whatever. All right, let's go to Squad. So the Squad Crate is the November Crate. Um, we're assembling pop culture's greatest squads, teams, crews, and supergroups with epic gear from DC Comics, Marvel, G.I. Joe, and South Park. So this is what we would have gotten if we would have continued and we would have gotten last month's crate. A Hydra t-shirt. Even evil organizations need to set aside time for team building exercises like trust falls, volleyball, and plotting global domination. Hail Hydra and remember to have fun out there. South Park minifig. Stan, Kyle, Cartman, and Kenny have been raising hell in South Park, Colorado for 22 seasons. Celebrate their strange foul mouth friendship with one of these blind box vinyl minifigures. So it seems like you could have gotten Cartman, and the one they have as an example is Cartman. Uh, G.I. Joe bottle opener. If the nefarious villains of Cobra have learned anything over the years, it's that sometimes you're going to lose. Before your next scheme, take a sec, just relax with your crew and have a, and a bottle of your favorite beverage. Justice League art print. Okay, this is the one that's making me sad now. Inspired by the Great Wave off Kanag Kanagawa by Hokusai. I probably really badly said, just butchered that. The Justice League 2011 number 15 variant cover featured some absolutely gorgeous art by Billy Tucci and Hi-Fi, making it the perfect addition to our squad of Epic Gear this month. And finally, squad pin. It's just a pin that says squad. Show to your team, group, or gathering that your squad ready with this handy pin. All right, and finally, onto the chill crate, which is this month's crate. Looter, it's cold outside, so why not kick back and chill out with some of the coolest pop culture collectibles around? This month, we're chillaxing hard with items from Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Lost in Space, and Die Hard. Please italicize Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Lost in Space, and Die Hard. That's a reference to Hitman. I know that's a reference to Hitman. Okay. Winter Soldier T-Shirt. Nothing can put the power of friendship on ice, not even cryogenic stasis. Warm up in this tee featuring Bucky Barnes and his Captain America snowman chilling in Winter Wonderland. Okay, that's actually a really cool fucking t-shirt. I love it. <clears throat> baby Groot Chia Pet. I heard about this, that there's a Baby Groot Chia Pet, and this is what's making me upset about not having this. I hate Chia Pets. They're creepy as fuck. Like, watching them grow especially is creepy to me. I've always been creeped out by Chia Pets, but this is still a pretty adorable Chia Pet. Um, it kind of pointless to have though because he doesn't have hair, so I'd probably just not water it or anything and just leave it. Life's hard when you're a flora colossus about to go through a massive growth spurt, aka plant puberty. Show off your green thumb and add some guardians to get. So add some guardians to your garden with your own adorable pet baby Groot Ch 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 Chia pet. Oh god. Lost in Space family decal set stuck in bumper to bumper traffic on the way to Office Centauri. Show those super those other stick family decals whose boss. Just pop this Robinson Family D Cal set onto your own personal J Jupiter 2 or any other stickable surface you please. Also, please italicize Jupiter 2. Die Hard playing cards, it doesn't even show what they look like. You've got to know when to hold them, when know when to fold them, know when to rescue your wife from German terrorists at her office Christmas party. That's how it goes, right? When life deals you Hans Gruber, throw down John McClane with these Nakatomi Plaza cards, and I can't even see what they look like. Loot Crate Chill Pin, and it's an ice cube with sunglasses. Here's some advice that will take you far in life. A good roommate always refills the ice cube tray. Show others that you're both chill and cool. See sunglasses with this pen. Uh, yeah. Um, you know, I think with the fact that there's only about two or three things between those two crates that I really would have wanted besides not counting, like, t-shirts, I'm very glad I chose to uh, stop with Loot Crate. Um, but once we get the August crate, we're done. I got to figure out what's going on with that and why it hasn't shipped yet. Hopefully we'll get it soon, um, and we'll be able to do the final crate and get it done and over with. But right now, it still hasn't gotten here. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll see you next time. Stay golden. Peace.